Our next. Oh my God, you are not. Oh my God. Is it? Our next show is Beth and Mark. <laughs> you are at <laughs> the I didn't see it. I swear. Oh my god. Uh, this is not a planted thing. <laughs> <laughs> and if you could say that, it would seem less and less. <laughs> it's not a planted thing. Is anyone on this red team seeing uh, the Big Bang? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Very good. Um, <laughs> you've seen the Big Bang? I just saw it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Um, that's great, but we happen to have the Big Bang herself. That's <laughs> 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 Martha right here in the theater. So. <laughs> you will get to be the critic of the show. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> nobody's seen this lovely woman. <laughs> <laughs> it's so let's see what this show is all about. Oh my god. <laughs> Can I take it? <laughs> we're, done. we're taking. We're good. Okay. But you can <laughs> But you're welcome to, yes. Yes. The pressure's on me. <laughs> yeah. That's good for all your agents, right? As long as you <laughs> promise not to copyright <laughs> Stronger. Uh, <laughs> we're going to add this in tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to memorize this shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Beth and Mark's Big Bang by the Big Bang Buffet and Beth Marshall presents. 30 times. Best of Fest, Fringe producer Beth Marshall, and KKFI uh, radio host and co-founder of the Big Bang Buffet, Mark Manning, reunite on their, on their unapologetic autobiographical journey of what it was like to be Fringe and KC before there was KC Fringe. The performance art mixtape buffet, serving up 35 years of friendship, and delving into the dark artistic truths of the old mantra, the show must go on. Or should it? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what the red team thinks. <laughs> Mark? Yeah, what's I, up? I feel like there just are not enough one person shows in the world. <laughs> I agree. I think we should do at least one more. Right, but I think first we should do one together. <laughs> so like a duo thing? Like a duo. Okay. Don't you think? I couldn't agree more. Okay. What do you think of my fringe? <laughs> it's perfect. I've been wearing it for a few years. People say it's not going to come back in style, but I'm pretty sure it will. <laughs> I think it's great, but I do think in 35 years people might judge you for it being made out of an animal. So. Yeah. <laughs> but for now, let's go on. Okay. The show must go on, right? Absolutely, yes. Okay, let's start writing. <laughs> I really love this double decker typewriter. <laughs> Helps us get twice the amount of writing done. Okay. Hey, you're my best friend, you know that, right? <laughs> you're my best friend. <laughs> oh, hey, I got a call. Hello? Um, Beth? Yep. Are you uh, coming to uh, my dinner party tonight? Oh, I can't. We've got a show to put on. <laughs> In fact, we've got 52 shows to put on. We're going to get 52 artists to put a show on. That's really? right. It'll be so good, we'll win Best of Fringe 30 times. They denied us. We invented Fringe. <laughs> Absolutely. We were Fringe before there was Fringe. Look at this Fringe. Look, I'm our sister. And I, I, I just, I, I, I never see you anymore. And I just, I know you have dreams and I support it, but like, Hey, you'll see me in two weeks, at the end of July. Is that your sister? Uh, yeah. Tell her to back off. Mark's the big guy in the house now. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, my best friend, is here, and we have to go because yeah. the show must go on. Unless maybe not, because if it's a bad script, we don't want to put it on. But we're figuring that out still. But yeah, you can come over for dinner while we're writing. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> have you finished the second act yet? <laughs> Well, that finally put it together. Yeah, it's kind of weird, you, you know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you, you start having this conversation over dinner, <laughs> you know? I know, I mean, I just have always been jealous ever since you guys have been together, and I thought my sister would be my best friend. 
Sorry guys, I can't hear you. My pre-show ritual is <laughs> 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 It's just that I thought you were going to get married and like have a kid by now and you're still chasing that dream of fringe. And it's just... I'm listening even if she's not taking it. Galileo! Galileo! When we met and I was wearing my fringe jacket back when our friendship first started, on the very outskirts of the city, the true fringe of the city. Oh yeah, Overland Park. That's the <laughs> we just <laughs> we knew we were going to be best friends forever. Thank you for coming to our show. <laughs> show being performed? Our show is at the Center for Spiritual Living. Ooh, and we have another show tomorrow night at 7.30 and three more after that. Woo! Okay. And Dar was there today and said that she liked it. So there's your it review. great. She didn't miss it. <laughs> so if you could, uh, tell us what did you think of Red Team's performance of your show. I am blown away by the uncanny <laughs> resemblance <laughs> of the woman playing so close to my age. <laughs> I, I really am very happy about how I'm portrayed. <laughs> um, and definitely, the part about our friendship is exactly exactly profound and on point to a T. Um, I and Mark would be wearing fringe back in the day. <laughs> and the thing that I was most surprised about this performance to find out is that I am not an only child. <laughs> so that boy, that I'm gonna have to write that in tomorrow. Got some years to make out some research. Secrets revealed. So I would, I would say that was fantastic. And how many points are we tuning out of, uh, Brian? Um, Any between number one, you want. Between one and, and Q. <laughs> one and Q? Okay, well, we were like just one beneath Q. So R S T U V W X Y Z. Oh, I missed Q. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, well, you know what? Uh, let's go with uh, 13. 13. Oh, yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.